So the aim of Mendelian randomization studies is to get more reliable evidence on whether a particular factor that could be modified, whether that factor will change disease risk if you modify it. Mendelian randomization evidence is useful for prioritizing which interventions you should put forward into randomized control trials. When is it actually worth investing the very large amounts of money that are required to do randomized control trials of interventions where do you, when, to make sure you actually have the best chance of getting a positive answer. So Mendelian randomization uses genetic variants as proxy markers of exposures, modifiable exposures that might influence disease risk. It does this because genetic variants, unlike the modifiable exposures themselves, if you measure them, the genetic variants aren't influenced by the disease process, nor are those genetic variants related to all those factors, those confounding factors like health-related behaviours, socioeconomic position, um, you know, obesity level, etc. Those factors do not influence the germline genetic variants. So you get a relatively pure indication of how a single particular modifiable factor might influence disease risk. So I think the most interesting aspect is that you have to keep up to date with new developments. I mean, the developments in genomics are just so fast that you're constantly learning something. So it's not as though you just sort of developed a method or an approach and you apply it and crank the handle. All the time, I think every day, I've learned something new.